I am here with CEO of the Dupps Company, Frank Dupps. And so I really want our audience to and listeners to get a feel for you and the Dupps Company. Let's start with our family origin started in Cincinnati, Ohio in the early 1900s when Cincinnati was coined the name Porkopolis. Miss Piggy! <laughs> There was a reason it was named Porkopolis because it was probably one of the largest, if not the largest, pork slaughter and packing house regions in the whole United States. Are you out of your mind? Because of that, you had um, at that time a number of pop up businesses around Cincinnati that were servicing that industry. As the story goes, uh, my great grandfather was at a butcher shop one day and talking to the owner proprietor. And they were loading all the scraps of the day into these baskets. And he was like, okay, so where, where are these baskets going? He said, well, they're going to the local rendering plant. He said, well, um, do you think I could get a tour of this rendering plant? I'd be very interested in how they're recycling this product. He said, sure, I'll call the owner. So the next day he went to this rendering plant. He noticed that what was happening is they were taking this scrap and they were recycling it they would uh, open up the valve and that fat was clarified and Procter & Gamble at the time was using that fat to uh, produce soap and candles. So being the entrepreneur and the visionary that he was and mechanical engineer, he said, this is what I want to do. I want to manufacture equipment for this lucrative business. So within two years, he had his first design and he fabricated his first system and he started building this equipment for renders. He founded the John J. Depps Company in 1935 in Cincinnati, Ohio. And from then until 1948, he really grew the business um, tenfold. Unfortunately, he passed away shortly thereafter, um, unexpectedly. Uh, He had a son, John Avery Dupps, uh, who happened to be at Purdue University at the time in the mechanical engineering program in flight school. And I still have his flight logs. And Amelia Earhart is one of the flight instructors at Purdue University at the time. That is incredible. It is incredible. My grandfather then had to drop out of school, come back and, you know, take care of the family and run the business. Right. So he came back and, and that's exactly what he did through the 50s, 60s and 70s was a, not only an entrepreneur, he was a visionary and he actually propelled rendering into a next generation. He applied for a patent, got a uh, patent, and we basically dominated the industry. No one could compete wow. with us. 